Here's how to get the Warfarer in Dragon's Dogma 2 in a fast and easy way. This class is focused on being a master of all of the weapons, pulling skills from other vocations together into a single uber class, with its one and only drawback being that the overall stats for this vocation are lower compared to other classes. But if you want to pull off some of the most awesome and creative combos, mixing together abilities of other vocations, then this is a class you will want to grab and try out, and we will tell you this one is actually easy to miss if you don't know where to look and you won't want to miss out because this class is awesome. A quick spoiler warning because the vocation is meant to be obtained naturally towards the tail end of the game, so we will show map locations and some quests mentioned in this video are from later in the game, however it will not be impactful to the broader story as a whole with the dragon and the arisen. The first thing to know is the location of this Meister. He's called Lamond and he is located on the volcanic island in the volcanic island camp, which is one of the final places you reach in the game. You can find him near the back area of this camp sitting next to this pillar here, so if you go here you can try and unlock this vocation for yourself and we have all the information you need to do this as well as some helpful tips to do it even quicker. He will essentially request that you give him some newt liquor which can actually be quite hard to find. It seems you need around three to four of these to get him to give you the vocation. The first time we gave him one, it opened him up to requesting another one and then one more, which still didn't unlock it. But then we returned the next day to give him two more and this finally unlocked the vocation for us. So we currently don't want to say that it 100% is attainable with four newt liquors because there could be a time factor in this based on the amount that you can give him at a single time. But essentially you will want a few of these newt liquors and four was the amount that worked for us. One of the best ways to get the newt liquor is to actually buy it, but to do this you need to complete a little interaction to get access to the vendor. So if you head to Back Batal, the main city in Batal, and go to the Higgs Tavern Stand location in the north of the city located here on the map, you'll be able to get the newt liquor, but there is something you must do first and there's a condition for this that you definitely want to meet. If you are not playing a Beastron character, you will want to wear the Beastron mask because if you don't wear this mask when doing this, you will get attacked and not be able to buy this item. You can buy this mask off of many of the vendors in the Czech rest point town. What you want to do is put the mask on and then pick up these sacks nearby the tavern. When you do this and place them in the fenced area nearby, one of the locals will then have an interaction with you which will then place you inside of the room of the tavern where you can then buy the newt liquor off of the NPC for 5k each and you can get three of them for a total of 15k which is a lot of gold especially early on. If you don't have the money to do this, it is 15k for the actual liquor and 8k for the mask, then instead you can actually craft these items using a sneaky method that we figured out. To do this, you will need fruit wine and sorin tails. We aren't entirely sure if you can craft the fruit wine, but there is a guaranteed way to get it, and to do that, you want to visit the main city of Batal, Back Batal, and before leaving for the volcanic island, we highly suggest you put down a port crystal here so you can fast travel back quickly. If you go to this following location in the city, you will actually trigger a quest where you'll get jumped on by a group of locals that aren't too happy about you being here. If you defeat them and then speak with Ragnall, he will reward you with some money and a fruit wine. You will however need a bunch of this fruit wine to make the three or four new liquors that you need to give to the Meister. But luckily in Dragon's Dogma 2, there is a system whereby you can duplicate items and it's called Forgery, it's an in-game system that you can quite easily do by heading to the checkpoint rest town and if you head to the scrap store here, you can actually make copies of the fruit wine. If you request him to make a forgery of an item and then wait two days by sitting on the bench close by and dozing off repeatedly, you can then go back to him and receive the extra fruit wine, allowing Allowing you to duplicate this several times repeatedly. Then you simply need to locate some Sauron Tails which again are quite luckily close by. If you head out of the town towards the tunnels, you will find a bunch of Saurons there. You want to focus on dealing damage to them from behind in order to cut off their tails. Not every tail you cut will have a guaranteed Sauron Tail drop, so this can take a few tries. Once you have these tails though, you can then craft the Newt Lickers by combining the wine and the tails together, and we actually suggest making a few more of these so you 
you have some extra spare. Once you have plenty of them, you can then head to the volcanic island camp where Le Monde is located, and by giving him enough of these newt liquors, you will get the Warfarer vocation unlocked. Theoretically, you should be able to do this from the start of the game. It will likely take long to trek across the map as you won't have many resources like fairy stones, good gear and port crystals, but again, theoretically, this should be possible if you trek across the entire map to get to him with the newt liquor items. Here's some tips if you're going to attempt this crazy journey at the start of the game to do a full playthrough as the Warfarer. The main blocker will be actually getting into Batal and the Volcanic Island. We recommend heading to Vernsworth, which you can do by heading to Melv and then using the ox cart to get to Vernsworth. Once you are in Vernsworth, you can then use the ox cart again to get to the checkpoint rest town. At the checkpoint rest town, there is a giant gate to get into Batal. However, the guards unfortunately won't let you sneak through unless you sneak into a carriage first. We used this Beastron mask for some extra cheekiness, which you can pick up at the scrap store in the town nearby. Normally, you would go through this gate, but you need a late game story related item to open it, but there is an alternative route that you can see here on the map. And there are two major pathways that head there. So hopefully, this will help you out getting the Warfarer class no matter where you are in the game. But if you're not too precious about getting it mega early, there's another way to get it even easier, but there is massive spoiler warnings here for those that haven't completed the game. This is a spoiler, this is your warning, this is the easy way to get the vocation. To do this, you need to complete the entire story and go into the game's true ending called the Unmoored World. In here, you can gain the vocation very easily. Make sure you've interacted with the Warfarer Meister at least once before coming here, and then when in the Unmoored World, return to the outpost where he's located on the volcanic island, and this will start the evacuation of the people there. Part of this evacuation process will include an interaction with him where you can ask him to either guard the smith and his wife or the batali knights. I asked him to guard the smith and his wife and even though he refuses this request it will unlock the vocation for you just like it did for me. So now you know both methods to get this warfarer vocation. Since now you know how to get the warfarer vocation here's a quick overview of this vocation because it is very cool but can be confusing when you first try it out. The rearmament skill is a main mechanic of the warfarer and this is a weapon skill that allows you to change to another class's weapon. The really cool thing is though you will only apply the weight to your character of the heaviest weapon you have equipped, so you don't need to worry too much about being over encumbered by having so many weapons on you. Something else to note is that you can only have three other skills equipped at a time for these weapons, and you can only use the appropriate weapon skill for the current weapon you are holding. So as an example, you can't use a bow skill while you're holding a mage staff in your hands. The augments for the Wayfarer you will also be able to get and they are quite good. Zeal will reduce the stamina that you use when activating a weapon skill, and Dynamism will reduce how much the carry weight impacts your movement speed. Both of these are pretty good augments to have, and remember, these can be used on other vocations too. So, there's what you need to know to get the Warfarer vocation. Drop a like if we helped you out below, and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 coming your way very, very soon.